what's up guys and welcome back to the Walsall Youth Academy career mode episode number 52. So as you can tell, things are moving by a little faster than it did last season. It was like last season, two episodes in, we didn't even, we were barely out of the first month. Now, we're entering month number four in episode number three. We should be getting the, well, I know what we're getting, we're getting to the second game of January. Oh, that's a good save right there, but it's offside. The second game in January. That's going to mean a lot. And to us. And they score. Markovic, of course. Play. Palalovic. As the faster we can go, this has to be, it is a goal. Good goal by Abba. But the faster we go through the series, well, I'm the more likely chance that I finish it. To say. Probably ne inevitably going to be another um, break for like another two weeks, something like that. I don't want it to happen, but it's probably going to happen because it always happens with me. It's like, if that happens again, I was doing it like how I did last season. It would take, I think it took like two months to finish season number three. Let's say four, five, six, all take two months. That's another half a year. The series is not getting done before FIFA 23. But it's been like a week. A little, a little more than a week, I'm pretty sure. She's pretty sure it's been seven days, exactly. And we're already half, we're going to be ready halfway through the season. So, like, two weeks a season isn't bad. Especially once you get in the year up, um, play Epic Cup games, stuff like that. It's going to take longer. It's an outstanding save by that goalkeeper. But, like, it's going to take longer, you know? So, eventually, we get to the point where maybe month and a half every episode not, never a month it's like 10 months in a season don't count the first month or the last month really that takes it down to like eight months in a season it's like four episodes um I'm sure this one's gonna be five because i don't know january february march april may Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It is like nine months, actually. Is it? I'm dumb. It is ten months. I don't know why I'm trying to confuse myself. This one's going to be... um. Instead of two months every time. It's a good goal, though. Tied two, two. Instead of being every two months. So five episodes. It's how it is. Like, first month, it's one episode. Go, maybe I do a little bit of transference and stuff and explain what we're going to do this season hopefully how on what we can, can do and the last a month is going to be one episode and hope maybe the last game is going to be completely drawn out or playoffs which would take up a lot of time, time I don't want to make another episode for that this would be too short but also be too long for just um, to add on to a two monther let's go goal right there we're down three to two Hopefully you guys can like pretty much see what I'm saying right now. How about going on the sideline? This is the ball. He's frustrating sometimes, but also sometimes he's like plays outstanding. This there's a play later this episode, which I'll, I'll point it out. It's like one of the best plays I've seen from it's probably the best play I've seen from any player of this series. And this score really helped him miss that. So now we're down four to two with ten minutes to go. It's fun. I'll keep talking about the series, but first I want to talk about the Champions League final. Um, Liverpool should have had that in the bag. I was going for Real Madrid, but one thing that saved Real Madrid, Shandy scores, brings it back to four to three. One thing that saved Real Madrid was their defense. The offense wasn't producing. They held good possession, which was helped them a lot, but their defense worked tirelessly to not let them get good shots. And what was it? I think Sané and Salah had the best two of them chances. And both of them were stopped by Courtois. Courtois, most definitely man of the match. No doubt. And that, that Benzema goal should have counted. He obviously intentionally kicked up to the side. His intention was to clear that out make it go to the side. So, and we simulated against West Brom. Went 2-1. Very good stuff. Yeah, that should have been a goal. Now we simulate against Luton. Because I don't really feel like playing Luton. Played them last season. Yeah, Bowman's back from injury, so I can put him back in the starting 11, so I change formation. 
we beat them four five to one we really have outclassed um league one so heavy by this point uh now we're playing burnley this should be a good match because burnley is primarily quality i thought norwich was too but they're just having a bad season because they're not in the promotion playoff on playoff spots even right now i think they're in seventh so kick off it's a good strike but the keeper saves it um if we don't get promoted or if we get promoted in a playoff spot, that's a, that was a red card right there. Hasty challenge by Richardson. It's a double yellow, actually. Yeah, if we don't get promoted, I um, have like Chambers most definitely probably going to get sold. When I say most definitely, probably. Yeah, I mean, he's probably going to get sold because he'd just be too good of an overall playing down here. Which I really don't want to do, but just keeps it more realistic. If you go through the promotion spots, Eh, depends. Really depends. Cause like, if we can sell him, put Ava on left wing, which is gonna take a while, but I know we can do it. Yeah, Ava on left wing would be good. He just moves well. Post cross. I thought I could take a touch, but I could probably say I couldn't. It gets blocked. Right to Ava. Plays a beautiful ball in the check of. He scores. Chekhov was one of those players who in the end of season one, I got it from a scouting report. I was like, I could keep him until season two, make sure his potential doesn't go down when I sign him up. But I was like, he's just too good not to sign up right now and put him right in the first team. Because I was missing a center mid. I'll probably I'm um, show him a little bit later, but Hi, the player who was supposed to be the center mid was Heika, who had good potential. But I couldn't imagine Heika being here right now. He was nowhere near as good. Even as a 56 overall, he was nowhere near as good as 62 overall. Like, he's not even just because of six overalls in between. It's just check was just so much better. Look at that. Forgotten. So we have a 1 0 lead. And we push through. Misha's wide open. He scores. Nisha makes it two to zero. That's a beautiful goal by Nisha. And he's trying to close the gap between him and Marie, him and himself and Marik. Oh, Marik. Keeps saying Marik though. Marik. I don't know what it is about him. He just seems to score every chance he gets. And Nisha. As naturally a right mid, who I forced to become a striker, it took like 50 weeks. It was like 30 weeks. It took a while. But after that time, get good passing, which kind of made it like the. That's a great save. It's another brilliant save. Oh, Corners was coming up huge this game, trying to keep his clean sheet. I'm also going to compare this to Duo too. Goes. And it's like that's someone goes gonna compare it to another YouTube series then. Harrogate Town FIFA 21 cutsy with a Kunkwo. Yeah. With a Kunkwo and Arby Jackers. Forgotten. Oh Harrogate Town. FIFA 20 um Avel AFC Wimbledon is what I meant. With a Kunkwo and LB Jackers. Kunkwo, he, he got on the score sheet sometimes, but he was much more of an assist um, person that assists the ball. Oh, that gets assists. When RB Jackers was the finisher, that's more like if a Murray and a Nisha. But Nisha also does have the speed to get him behind. That's what really helps him. Abbott right there. Oh, Abbott. I have to call him Abbott the rest of the series. You know, it's not how you pronounce his name. Abba is a just brilliant striker. I was gonna loan him out the first season, but it's the 18 goals most in the league. I was gonna loan out Abba first season, but I was thinking about it. I was like, I just got O'Connor signed up because he just turned 16. I was like, if I put them next to each other, 
Kins have a striking duo on the bench. And it ended up working. And now, how about and O'Connor are a great striking duo on the bench with Marik and Nisha on the Sony 11. Ooh, that goal is tough to concede. I have no idea how that didn't go in. Might be the most unluckiest play ever. The bola. Like another Youth Academy idea. Actually, I'm gonna see one right now because like nobody watches to this point. Um, if I get this one done soon enough, this is gonna be this FIFA, but if I don't, it's gonna be next FIFA. I'm gonna take a team from the fourth division of England. Actually, maybe we grab one from the third division of England, like strip them of all the good players and then put them on the fourth division. I'm gonna make Brexit ball. Where most players have to have, have their head shaved. They all have to be like, Eng most of them have to be English. And we're gonna play a hard nose type of <laughs> football with no possession. You just bomb it over the top every time. It sounds fun. Playing hard nose. It's a lot more cards and a lot, get us into a lot more trouble. I feel like it would just be fun to do. Corner takes the lead two to one. We got a little bit of fortune, but you know, doesn't matter how you get the goal. All that matters is that you got the goal. My question is, like, same real life. You got to play like O'Connor and Abbott, but light it up off the bench. What kind of clubs would be interested in them? It's like, I know Man City and Juventus bidded for Abba, but like, I don't think that's all too realistic. I mean, if unless his name's um, Chupo Mutang, I don't think they're going to get signed up by a powerhouse in a different league. That's something like Bur um, Burnley, Brentford of the sorts to sign them up. That's beautiful. And that's a real howler by Beaumont. No idea how I missed that. In the end, doesn't matter. Did the, the quick free kick. Marie gets up out over the top. Tries to chip the keeper. Keep blocks it. Bounces right to O'Connor's path. He just taps it home to take the three-one lead. And he does the worm. So O'Connor got a brace this game. Which is really good. Also, I signed up two Paraguayan and I'm pretty sure one Venezuelan player from the Youth Academy in December. It's like right after this but I, you don't see it. I signed them three up and put them all out loan. I'm pretty sure all three of them got loaned out by now. So we chilling. Now I signed up another right back which I'm pretty much sure it's Venezuelan. Or Venezuelan Ecuadorian ones. I signed so I have two he breaks right through the middle and he misses. That's huge. So we end up taking 3 1 lead, which is very good. So we have four good players out on loan. Still have Shundi on loan, which reached 70 overall. Shundi the cam, that is. Um, Carrillo, it's like a 65 now. He's not making the team. So I think he comes back this. I think he comes back right now, like in January. Not beginning though, I think like mid. He's going to get loaned back out because he's not getting play time. Um, what else? My two center backs out on loan. They are going to go back out. They are. I don't think they're coming back, but by next season, if we get promoted, they're going back out on loan. But if we don't, I'll have them as a bench unit. Um, so I can rec I can like put them in. They're both gonna be like seventy overalls. Like around them too. Hopefully the two right backs I'm owning out can get to like 70 overall. They can play one on the left, one on the right, and have a whole defense with Paz as the backup goalkeeper playing. The center mid is going to be Tochuk, 
pretty sure the Ukrainian sentiment who had changed to a cam and he went up like five overall, so we chilling. And I'm um, the Paraguayan guy. And then the Paraguayan guy at left mid. Then I, at the time being, I'm pretty sure that's a great goal. I had so much power. Pretty sure Robinson out on right wing. I don't know who else could. Maybe someone from the Youth Academy down the line. That's great. I, I love that. I wasn't even going towards him. The friend that deflected it right in his path. We scored. So good stuff. Like after that, the two strikers, Abai and O'Connor, are really going to bring life to the second team. Is it right now the second team? It's all right. It's just like nothing to write home about. Oh, actually. Vision Moskvin's 71 overall. So is Robinson. Robinson already peaked at his potential, so I might just... It's a little honk throw right there. So I might just put Mo uh, Moskovin on the bench instead of Robinson. So Moskovin make me the back backup winger. Yeah, that makes sense. And the bench for the... um this bench, The bench for the reserve lineup. I scored again. Took a 3-2 lead. So the bench for the reserve lineup is just going to be my normal team. Good save. And we go down four to two. Again? Pretty sure again. Yeah, we go down four to two for the second time this episode. But Nisha breaks through right at the end of the half. And Tarks went home. So now we're only down four to three against Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers would be a good team to do because nobody does a team that does rebels them like on YouTube. But, if you know the, the slightest bit about Premier League, you know Blackburn Rovers won the Premier League once upon a time, like in the 80s. And to bring them back to glory would be outstanding. Other teams like Blackpool, whole city, never won it. I just want to bring them back. And Sunderland, because Sunderland's always a good choice. Also, if you barely follow soccer and just want to see a really entertaining game, or if you follow soccer and you just only watch the Champions League today, it doesn't really matter if you follow it or not. If you want to see a really entertaining game, Grimsby Town versus Wrexham, <laughs> promotion playoff semifinals in the National League, that's the play I was talking about. I about dribbled through like the whole team and tucked one home. That was beautiful. An outstanding dribbler, it looks like, but his dribbling style is too high. So I don't get that. But yeah, I was thinking about Grimsby Town versus Wrexham. Or the keeper really should save the stuff, but that's what it is. What I was thinking about that game is that um, it was back and forth. Pretty sure it ended with like, um, it almost, actually, I know exactly what ended with. I don't want to spoil it. It almost ended in do double digit scoring. And it there was a last minute winner. But. Yeah, no, it was a great game. No idea why we didn't just clear it there. My players were running away from it, didn't want the ball, it seemed like. And look at this. This is what I love right here. O'Connor with the outstanding save right there. Um, it's going to sound like I'm hating, but I just want to know how this FIFA system works. How... Burnley can simultaneously have a better defense and way worse offense than Blackburn Rovers. It's like, like Burnley's defense is better than Blackburn Rovers. Makes sense. But Blackburn Rovers offense being this much better than Burnley's makes zero sense. It, that tackle, I thought I could get the ball right there. I don't, my play gets turned, so that's the game. I end up losing a f nine goal thriller. Up to one dumb mistake by the goalkeeper who just didn't push it out of the way. I'm pretty sure there's still 10 minutes left in this episode. I ended up beating Derby 2-0 though. Forgotten. And Derby's going on to League 3, which I thought was unrealistic. I saw in the League 1. Oh, and FIFA. 
actually went down to League 3. Or League 1? League 1. It's called League 1. So they went down to League 1. One in my FIFA career mode save, this one. And it's unrealistic for FIFA. But now that they went down in real life, very realistic. It's a bang of a goal right there. Nisha tucks it home. Put it right into the bottom corner where the keeper couldn't reach. Perfect goal. I mean, not even players like in the top divisions of any league could do it better than that. Yeah, I mean, keeper, maybe should have done better. That's not what matters. What matters is the goal. Rick number 26. Nisha number 8. I'm saying the numbers. I'm getting bored now. Kind of. But also. Ooh. So down. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think who number seven is. I, I should know this. I remember seeing it one time. Good goal by Beaumont. I mean, that was mostly Chambers right there, but Beaumont got the tap home. So, good stuff for both of them. It, it, oh, I'm pretty sure. Rude used to be number seven, or it was Setin. One of those two used to be number seven. I feel like at this point, keeping the players with the numbers they have just makes sense because I said, let's see the people watching. Let's say you're a Marie fan, and then Marie's been number 26 the whole time. Like you like Marik now, then he just changes his number out of nowhere. My, that's a bang of a goalkeeper can even move. Like that might not feel right to you because look at this. That's to be the thumbnail, by the way. That was beautiful. The flying um volley. Okay. I don't think changing the numbers at this point, like why when you get them, I say I br I scout up a player. I put him in the first. Um, first team right away from the youth academy in the beginning of the career mode. I change in the number nine. Okay, it's just how it is. Strike is number nine, so he's gonna be number nine for the whole series. Getting a striker who's number like 41, like O'Connor, and sing out of nowhere, he's actually pretty good. Let's give him, let's take away the number 41, and give him another number. Doesn't make sense. The only one I consider doing that with. So corner, I'm giving him number one. Let me keep it a sec. I don't remember what number he has. At least playing around, not playing right around us. Because also, I think the big numbers really adds personality. Let's so say Bowman number four, Ganter number three. Um. Corner number one. I'm blanking on his name right now. His name should be Zajmi number two. It's a good say about Corner. I like the midfield. Bowman. Boom. Oh, is it Beaumont five? Chekhov six. Shundi seven. Um, what'd it be? O'Connor, I think, eight. Oh, no. O'Connor ten. I mean, no. Chambers ten. Then it'd be. It's a great goal, but Marik take a 4-1 lead right there. But I think Marik 9, Nisha 8 still. That's funny how it worked out. And then I think number 11 would be... Would number 11 be him? I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, that's just, that's just boring. The no I know it's been a long time when talking about the numbers, but I feel like jumping number 11, what just wouldn't make sense. Is jumping number 10? Chambers 11? I really like the, num the numbers, actually. That's the player right now. Palomino. He went out, he played one game. I think he think he's played two. I think he's, he played the last one. And he goes out on loan. So he played two games, going out on loan. Vieta. The left side who just lost the ball. Oh, both went on loan. Then I balanced Waylon right back, I'm pretty sure. 
and that is the end of the game against QPR. End up winning four to one, and that, that's all she wrote. Really good game. Forgotten. Two. 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 During the Champions League final, I was like, damn, Vinny only had one shot on target. He had one goal, so I was like, can I really be saying anything bad about that? Ended up beating Burnley 3 0. I would have played that game because they're a big team, but I already played them this episode, so I just simulated it. Simulating West Brom again, and I'm pretty sure we already simulated West Brom this episode. Ended up winning 1 0. No, I'm pretty sure this is game 5 of the episode. Sounds silly for saying that. I do not know. Two in um, November. This is the third in December. I'm going to simulate one game after this, January 1st game. So we can get the January 2nd Youth Academy report. So we're playing Norwich City, who is really falling off. Or falling off. As I say that, they score a goal. Now we're down 1-0. And Jeppa misses a sitter. This is really kind of getting out of control now. Then Shundi breaks wide, passes it back to Marik, and he and he tucks it home. Like I said, Marik might be the single-handed great and the elite might single-handedly be the greatest striker of all time. Not playing, but. Oh, I was about to say he could break the um, championship gold scoring record. That's just not even true. Gary's in first place, I'm pretty sure, but like, didn't Mitrovic score in 46 this season? That's just unobtainable. If we don't get promoted this season, I'm going to make it my mission to get it next season. But I'm pretty sure we're getting promoted. He scored 43. Still outstanding. Oh, so then we get scored on again. Then Chambers makes a vital block and it's out on them. So that's the last play of the half. We go into half, losing two to one. No promotion playoffs finals is tomorrow at 8 30 a.m. I know what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning then. Uh Good goal by Shundi. Tied two to two. Forgotten. Shundi's such a good player. Once he gets like 73 overall, I'm gonna train his defense again. That needs to become the. I remember when he was balanced with like 40 shooting, 40 defense. He was truly awful. But I don't know. His long shots. If if that went in. That would have been goal of the series. Like, my kidding. That was hit with such power. Oh, the keeper barely blocks that. But, actually, I was going to say something, but I just really want you guys to see this. Bang. Beaumont scores the second long shot of the... Second long shot of the season. And he does this celebration again. Marie's done it already. But now he does it. Which is interesting because I just hit O oh, after every time I score. So I just want to see random celebration. Well, sometimes I'll do the Sui or the Cristiano Ronaldo Sui celebration. But most of the time I'll just hit O. Oh. Look at this. I think it, was, it didn't go like really much power. I think it went so far up. that And it dipped right behind the goalkeeper. So unless the goalkeeper, you know... Um, was like realistic he's not going to block that I don't know why I might have fended ahead of that right in Rashik, um, Rashika's path but he did and he scores which really pisses me off I'm pretty sure this season Rashika was the cut I'm um, not this season 2021-22 season in the Premier League in real life Rashika is the first Kosovo player to ever score uh, it could have been the winning goal, but I don't know how he had it that way. She goes to first Kosovo player. I'm pretty sure it's Kosovo. Player to ever score in the Premier League, which is good for him, honestly. 
we end up tying that game three to three. I would be pretty disappointed to do, tie a seventh place team three to three. Really, um, really want to get want to want to get scored on three times by a seventh place team. But this is in a seventh place team that's the Norwich City. So now we're gonna simulate against Coventry City, who we should smack around real quick. We don't necessarily smack them around, but we Bowman does get a late goal to get us a one 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 zero lead. Here's the scouting reports from the Czech Republic. There's one good player, maybe it's a second decent player, but I'll just wait another month. Ahmad is pretty good, but he's low overall. Nice place haven't necessarily really great overall. I'm gonna leave that third um, other player in there. That has potential. Let's see if the potential sticks. Marin. Well, look at the look at here real quick. I said think he was good enough. And me neither. Yeah, that's about it for the people I'm releasing. I also signed up him and tried to put him out on the loan. And the episode here is the, on the team. Now there's three players in the 80s. Maybe soon to be four. With our left center back. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.